the village of Burano in the south of Madagascar appears like a refugee camp. Hundreds of families are suffering from a rare drought that ravaged last season's crops. In the Android region, 200,000 people are famished. He weighs nine kilos, that's not normal, he's three. Usually one-year-old babies weigh nine kilos, and it's not a disease. At the health center, they gave him biscuits, but he's still not putting weight on. Natural disasters happen regularly in Madagascar, the world's fourth biggest island. Because of this drought, 40,000 children are suffering from malnutrition, and at least 16 people so far have died. My little girl died at night. We were sleeping and we found her dead in the morning. At that time, we didn't see it coming. All we could think of was to look for food. We were about to go out and try and find something. We touched our daughter and her body was already cold. This is the short story of her death. Hunger killed her. A few sparse rains are allowing farmers to replant crops, but it will take months before they can be harvested. Until then, Catch's Fruit and the World Food Programme are their only hopes. If it wasn't for the WFP, we'd be eating only this. If God had not given us these fruits, we'd be dead. If other systems are not implemented, the situation could get much worse. That's why the World Food Programme needs around $3 million to tackle the situation and bring it back to acceptable levels. The government has sent 400 tonnes of food to the worst-hit region, but it's not enough. The World Food Programme is appealing to donors to help rebuild food stocks, while providing rations that are currently keeping some 120,000 people alive.